Your school, your news. We are LMTV, Linmar Television. Bringing you the most up-to-date news from your Linmar campus. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Monday, May 3rd, 2010. And here's a look at the stories making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story, student council elections are behind us. If you ran for office but lost, you can still play a role in student council. Our first anchors in training for next year, Ryan and Barry, I believe Emily, have the details. Guys? Those students who ran the student council election last week and did not win their race can apply to be a pledge member. Pledge applications are now available in the main office. They will be due back to Honey Sue in the main office by Friday, May 7th. Remember, in order to be a pledge, you must have run in the current student council elections. Ben, back to you. Well, thank you guys, and welcome to LMTV. In other news, those students running for a National Honor Society officer position need to meet in Ms. Chica's room tomorrow morning at 8.15. Meanwhile, there will be a meeting for all current juniors in NHS Wednesday morning at 8.15 in Ms. Chica's room. You will be voting for next year's officers. We will be back with more LMTV news right after this. Hey, Nick, do you have your tux order yet for prom? Yes, I do, and I might add, I look pretty fly in it. Did you remember to mention in our post prom so we could get a donation of $5 per tux? Of course. I always take care of the important stuff. Well, if you're sharp as Nick here, you can still order your tux from Irwin's Clothing Store, Holly Shop for Men, or Prince Albert. Or you can go to Skeffington's, Heart to Heart Bridal, or Men's Warehouse. Remember to mention in our post prom or pick up a form on the post prom bulletin board by the main office. You slackers better get on that. Post prom is only a couple weeks away. Remember, post prom is May 15th at the Rockwell Recreation Center. So juniors and seniors, bring your dates. So get your friends and don't miss post prom. Welcome back. Remember, if you are bringing a date to prom that does not attend Linmar, you must pick up a guest permission form in the main office. Now. They need to be completed and turned in by Thursday. And remember, if you have a date that is a freshman or sophomore at Linmar, you must sign the guest up with Mrs. Crandall when you purchase your tickets. Now, Brandon joins us for this morning's sports. Brandon? Thanks, Ben. It's a really long list this morning. On the scoreboard, boys tennis beat Waterloo East 9-0 and beat Cedar Falls 8-1. Girls tennis beat Waterloo East 9-0 and beat Cedar Falls 8-1. Boys track came in third out of 15s. Girls soccer beat Iowa City West 1-0 and Iowa City High 2-0. Boys soccer beat Iowa City High 3-2 in overtime. On the scoreboard, tonight in Linmar Sports, wait, 9th and 10th grade girls soccer will host Iowa City West at 4:15. JV girls track will meet, will host the Crandick meet at 4:30. Varsity girls golf will run in the MVC Super Meet at 9:30. JV boys soccer will host Iowa City West at 5:30. JV Boys Track will run in the Crandick Meet at Kingston. Team dismissed at 2.45. And other sports news. If you ordered softball clothing, pick it up in the athletic office. Remember to bring your spare change for the change war against Kennedy. All proceeds will go to the American Cancer Society. The winning school will be announced at the Linmar Kennedy Girls Soccer Games on Thursday. The varsity game begins at 4.15 at Excelsior and the JV game will follow. A raffle for valuable prizes will be held between the two games. If you purchased a cancer awareness shirt, be sure to wear it on Thursday. There will be a limited number of shirts available for purchase at the game. Go Lions! All guys interested in trying out for golf in the fall, please stop by the athletic office and pick up an information sheet. Tryouts begin August 9th and you need a physical to practice. That's Sportsman. Back to you. Wow, Brandon, that certainly was energetic. And news from the counselors. Any senior wishing to receive the ECCO 20 Certification Award must talk with his or her counselor before May 14th in order to be included in the Senior Department Awards Assembly on May 19th. Senior Recognition Night is Tuesday, May 25th. Seniors must turn in their Senior Award card to the Counseling Office by May 7th to be recognized. The Senior Award card was handed out during homeroom and is available online. Just go to the high school website. Those students who signed up for Kirkwood Career Edge Academies for next year will be getting a notice in the next few days to attend a mandatory orientation session in the Skogman Lab. Please make sure you attend. For more information on these stories, stop at the Counseling Office or check out their website. Now Sarah joins us with this morning's Arts and Clubs. Sarah? Thanks, Ben. On the Linmar Club scene, FBLA members, remember to turn in your officer applications. They are due tomorrow. And don't forget, there's an important FBLA meeting Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. in the food court. Officer elections will take place. Come show your support for your favorite candidate. See Ms. Larson for more information. 
Key Cobb is wrapping up Haiti in My Heart campaign. Members are asked to get the unsold wristbands and money to Miss Oldfield before May 7th so the Red Cross donation can be made. Officer elections and officer installation will take place at, FF, at the FFA chapter meeting Thursday morning at 7.45. Summer FFA calendars, Ag in the Park, and the annual plant sales will also be discussed. FFA members planning to participate in the Floriculture, Landscape, Nursery, Age Mechanics, Horse, or Agronomy contest, please see Ms. Lemmer today. Weekly practices for these contests have been scheduled. See the FFA bulletin board for more details. Math team will meet Wednesday after school. Those people attending regionals must be there for some important information. That's your club update, and back to you. Thank you, Sarah. Soda is sponsoring a sand volleyball tournament at Volleys on Friday, May 21st. It's open to all Linmar High School students. See Kevin McCauley for team entry forms. Now the always exciting Brandon Gordon tells us what the lunch ladies are cooking up today. Brandon? It's corn dog with glazed carrot slices and a mandarin orange salad and chocolate cake. The other lines will offer the sandwiches from Subway, pizza, chef salads, or a la carte items. The food court has Subway sandwiches and that's lunch. Back to you. Wow. Weatherman Gibson Acres says get ready for an okay day. His LMTV forecast calls for a chance of showers today with a high of 69. Tonight will be partly cloudy with an overnight low of 46, and mostly sunny tomorrow with a high of 73. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow and make it an okay day.